A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream here at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on Saturday of the third week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronald Ray Espartinez, SVD, Vice Rector of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. Niya sa atin, bayan ating alalahanin, panahong tayo'y nalipin, nangalan niya'y ating sambitin, paano di tayo lingapin, bayan muling magtipon, Awitan ng Panginoon Sa piging sariwain Pagliligtas niya sa atin Sa piging sariwain Pagliligtas niya sa atin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In today's Gospel, Jesus asked His Apostles, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith in Me? So in this Mass, you ask the Lord to dwell in us, that any stain of fear and worry in our hearts may banish and we may deepen our faith in Him. We also lift up to the Lord our other intentions, and we offer this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and for us to worthily offer ourselves and our prayers and offerings to our beloved Lord. Let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon, His compassion and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for, an evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place 
that he was not to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise, for he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age. And Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man himself as a good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sands on the seashore. All these died in faith. They did not receive what had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar, and acknowledged themselves to be strangers and aliens on earth. For those who speak thus show that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land from which they had gone, they would have an opportunity to return. But now, they desire a better homeland, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, He has come to His people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, He has come to His people. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our sins, from the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the bonds of our enemies, free to worship without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, He has come to His people. We will now honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, 
they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe, and said to one another, Who then is this, whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magadang umaga sa inyong lahat. Ate po pang ninilayan yung sinabi ni Jesus sa Gospel. Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? O bakit kayo natatakot? Wala ba kayong pananalig? Uh, this gives us an idea na the weapon we need to face our fears and insecurities is faith in God. Uh, why? Why faith in God? Because only God is permanent. And because God is permanent, His love for us is unconditional. Because the rest of the material world is impermanent, conditional, and temporary. And if you recognize the cause of our insecurities, and fears and worry is because things around us are conditional. Things around us are temporary. They may go. Tomorrow we have, tomorrow we don't. That's why we are insecure. So let us keep in mind God's love. God loves us not because we are worthy of it. Mal na mal tayo na Panginoon Diyos not because we deserve it. Kasi even we are unworthy and undeserving according to our estimation for God's estimation we remain worthy of His love just look at the apostles they showed lack of faith but Jesus did not leave them hindi sila iniwanan hindi sila minaliit Jesus stayed on the boat so that's the character of God He will stay with us not because we deserve it, but because he, he is permanent and He is good and His love for us is unconditional. Ang tanong lang naman po ngayon, ngayon ay, do we persevere at least to stay with the Lord? Especially when our faith is tested and tried like gold set on fire. Kasi naalala ko yung the book I read last April, Ang title niya ay Healing. I hope you come across that book. It's a book about faith and healing. One of the best books I read by Francis McNath, a former Dominican priest. He told about a mother. May ba, yung isang na, kwento ng nanin around 60 years old. May dalawa siyang anak na babae. Ngayon, yung isang anak na babae, nakaroong severe na sakit. Dahil dito, they intensify their prayer to the Lord. And for sure, they expect, syempre, because they storm heaven, they expect a lot that their daughter will be healed. Kaso all the more, nagkasakit yung daughter, nakita ng nanay how her daughter suffered before her eyes and died. At dahil dito, ang kwento ng daughter na isa ay she was so frustrated and disappointed with God. She was disappointed and frustrated not because God did not exist, but para sa kanya, sa nanay, God did not do something and grant their prayers. And later on, she 
would not like to have anything to do with faith anymore. Di na nagsisimba, di na nagdarasal. She abandoned God. So ito po ang kailangan natin bantayan. Ito ang ating kailangan bantayan din sa ating sarili. Kasi being human, we expect then when our expectations did not happen according to how we want things to happen, we will feel frustrated. At ito pong frustration, pag di natin naayos, will turn to pain. Then we will now start to blame. Then we will blame God. So the challenge to us is always to see beyond. That's why faith is very crucial because faith is the only tool that will help us to see beyond things. It will, kung hindi po natin bantay, maproseso ating sarili, later on, baka tulad ng nanay na kwento ko, we will also fall disbelieving the existence, the presence of God in our lives. That's why to all of you listening right now, especially those already in the adult mature stage, yung mga nasa around 10 years old, kasi may capacity na silang umintindi ng malalim, uh, develop the capacity to process ourselves. Ano ibig sabihin process ourselves? Ganito ang metaphor niya. Kung sa araw na ito, nagalik ka sa isang tao, kumulo ang dugo mo, dapat kinaumagahan, nag-start ka na magpalamig. You know how to console yourself. Tulad yan yung naglilis ako ng fish pan. Wala po kasi akong malaking yung balde na para I can transfer the fish at brushan ko yung loob ng fish pan. So, ginagawa ko, sa fish pan mismo, doon ko na binabrush, nilinis ko na lang, pero I expect the following day, kung, kung araw na ito, ma maitim pa yung tubig, the following day, I expect, bumaba na yung dumi, sa, tapos nilinisin ko na siya. So, dapat may, we have the capacity that the next day, we, lo we, we are able to talk to ourselves, process ourselves, allow God, uh, mag, mag ano na tayo, mag-settle down. Kasi if not, if we don't have the capacity to process ourselves, what would happen to us? We have to see beyond situation, see in bigger picture, and look for possibilities and angle that God may have other reasons and plans for us. Kaya po sana, kahit we are in the middle of frustration and disappointments, we do not surrender our faith. Yan po nangyari kay Abraham doon sa first reading. Si Abraham kasi, he lived in a far region of Chaldea, sa malayong lugar. Ngayon, God told him to go to a foreign country in Israel because pag nakapunta siya doon, ibibigay niya ang kanyang inheritance. Land flowing with milk and honey and a generation who is pleasing to the Lord. Eh, comfortable na sana si Abraham sa lugar na iyon. But still, God, ay, Abraham went, pumunta pa rin siya. Ang lesson dito, Abraham followed not his own will, but God's will. Ang tawag dito ay unwavering faith. Unwavering. Unwavering. Panampalataya na hindi natitinag sa ng takot o kaba o napagdalawang isip. To close his homily, I would like to relate to you the story I heard. The first story I heard sa sermon ng isang pari. I cannot remember my age, but that means very powerful sa akin yung kwento that until now I can remember it. And I believe some of you might have heard it. The story of the boy who stuck in a burning house in the second floor. Di ko alam kung bakit siya naiwanan doon second floor. But he was shouting for help. Pero dahil nga, the smoke was building up from his part. He cannot anymore see people below him kasi nga, di ba, yung smoke, nakukovera na yung mga tao sa baba. But he can hear their voices. Yung tatay niya, nasa baba na pala, sumisigaw, Anak, ito yung tatay mo. Talon ka na, sasaluhin kita. Sabi naman ng bata, Tay, tulungan mo ako. Pero hindi, hindi ko kayo makita. Uh, sabi naman ng tatay, huwag kang mag-alala. Dito sa baba, nakikita kita. Though you may not see me, but from below, I can see you. The child jumped and was saved. Bakit pala siya na-save? Why he was saved? 
why did he jump? Bakit bakal kaya tumalon yung bata? Eh hindi niya naman nakita kung sino, sino man nasa baba. He is not sure. Para sa akin, he jumped for two reasons. First, he heard his father's voice. Pangalawa, his father assured him, nakikita kita dito sa baba. Friends, many times in our darkest time, like depression and despair, what is pala depression? Depression ay because pagod na pagod ka na sa dami ng problema, gusto mo na mag-resign. Parang sa trabaho, stress ka na sa boss mo, mababa pa ang sweldo, mag-resign ka na, iwanan mo na ito. Ganon din sa buhay, pag na-depress na isang tao, mag-resign na ako, wala na pakialam sa inyo, kaysa mga anak ko, mga asawa ko, bahala na kayo. Yun po ang taong depressed na, resigned na. Kung nag-resign ka sa trabaho, pag ang tao depressed, resign na sa sarili, asa hinaharap. When we are in our darkest time, and our heart is filled with hopelessness and meaning, para siyang usok, depression, cloud, our sight of God. Para yung mga apostoles, because of the wave, their sight of Jesus was clouded already. But the story reminded us, the smoke may cover our sight of God for a while, but God's sight for us and His love for us will remain because God is powerful. His vision is penetrating. Penetrating. Maybe some of us right now, meron pinagdadaanan. We are insecure of our financial situations. We are having trouble punuan ang daily needs of our families. Ito yung nabasta ko sa inquirer, ay sorry, dati. Yung making ends meet punuan yung pang araw-araw, punuan ang toyo, suka. We have difficulty making our ends meet. And seemingly, from our human point of view, we cannot enamor see a brighter future ahead. But remind yourself, what you only see, and what you see is only limited. Please, please consider what God see. What God see. What God sees on your future God sees a bigger picture and God see you sees that you have a future and a destination so keep the faith always kindly rise even the wind and sea obey the son of God with this in mind we can pray confidently for calm in a turbulent world let us pray lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer that the lord may guide the church especially in the stormy waters that threaten to engulf it we pray lord hear our prayer that the leaders of troubled nations may work tirelessly to bring peace and justice to their countries we pray lord hear our prayer that through the intercession of mary the star of the sea sailors fishermen and all those who earn a living from the sea may preserve from every danger we pray lord hear our prayer that the disabled and those suffering from lingering illnesses may find inner peace in Christ's healing power. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our special intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also lift up to the Lord the soul of Roger Barameda. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sabutil na 
ng trigo, pagkain, nagbibigay ng buhay mo. At alam na nagmula sa isang tangkay ng kubas, inuming, nagbibigay lakas. Kunin at tanggapin ang alay na ito, mga biyayang nagmula sa pagpapala mo. Tanda ng bawat pusong pagkat ini Nanalig, nagmamahal sa iyo. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people, with the sacrificial offerings, the true intercession of Blessed Mary, Mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ong Choco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace to everyone. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Friends, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold Him, He who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Manilangin tayo, let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calunsod, Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Ray Nadimets. Please be seated for some announcements. Good morning everyone, especially sa mga nasa live streaming din ngayon. Muli ako pala si Father Ron Ray. Ang announcement ko is related to our media ministry. Uh, una muna, about the Sunday of the Word of God. I am inviting you to like and follow a Facebook page that is committed to the proclamation of the Word of God. Yung words to light our path, the, I think the, it will be displayed on the screen. Uh, to give you the significance, last January 24, ng, ng isang Sunday lang, we celebrated the Word of God Sunday. Kasi ang purpose ni Pope Francis, tatlo, that, that, that this week, or the past day, or the enter, or enter lives, we will study the Bible, we will celebrate with it, and spread it. Tapos last Sunday din, during his Mass sa Vatican, ang tema niya sa kanyang homily, he said, the Holy Bible is like God's love letter to you. And God loves us best. He knows us best. So He writes us a love letter. Naisip ko naman, sabi ni Fandi, Father Randy Go, Flores, read thou the Bible five minutes a day. But we are so busy and the Bible as a book is too bulky. Now, may, maraming paraan how to read the Bible, especially in the cell phone. But one way is to accessible, ito pong Facebook page, Words to Light Our Path. It will bring to your doorstep daily readings and Bible verses that will help us guide our soul Kasi all things are fluctuating, even our emotion and spirit. So to help us balance our, ano, have the Word of God every day by also accessing the words to light our path. Pangalawa, ang announcement ko rin patungkol sa aming simbahan, itong Shrine of Jesus Facebook page. Because ito pang palang misa natin and our daily activities are broadcasted to many Facebook pages and YouTube. Ngayon naman, ang tanong, what if you may mga concern po kayo and questions, saan kayo lalapit? 
well, I will be posting dyan sa, sa ano, yung mga helpline contacts. Una, para po kung may mga katanungan kayo and concern, you may connect to us through our cell phone. 0928-393-0400 At pwede rin po sa messenger sa may mga Facebook. Just type and click Dyson Shrine of Jesus Divine Word. Pwede rin po kayo mag-follow and mag-like. At pangatlo, we can also, you can also reach us to our email. Shrine of Jesus Divine Word at gmail.com Lahat po ito small letters. Hindi ko po may bibigay yung aming telephone number kasi baka din namin masagot. But dito sa cellphone, messenger, at email, we can promise you we can respond to you immediately. But what if naman kung may mga pamisa kayo, then we have our online system on the display. Just click, I type and click bit.ly bit slash shrine intentions. If you, kung mag-message kayo ngayon, the following day, you will see your prayers sa screen already. We have a very efficient system for our, made by our coordinator, Nino Versosa, and sino pa naman nakasama. Panglima naman, help also spread our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel. The same name, the Isis and Shrine of the Divine Word. So that's all. Thank you for listening. Please rise. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Holy Mary, Mother